brakes off, taken the shackles off. He's told them to go out and enjoy themselves. And the result is four wins and two draws in six games. You can't really argue with that. It seems to be working. The players are loving it. And uh, you, you do expect to go into a game with the possibility of getting something out of it. OK, that's Lord Chaz, as you absolute fans will know him. Joining Steve Gibbs and myself, Rob Worrell, for tonight's commentary on BBC Surrey. Van Stappen should have been goal. That's Charles Brewer, otherwise known as Lord Chaz. If you want to tweet in and interact with him on commentary, I'm at Robshot66. And we're underway here at the EBB. And Tolage, uh, Stokes presses. Ball runs loose to Tolage. Tolage wins it. Referee gives a free kick. Two order shots centrally just outside the D. And a high tempo start from the shots. And uh, plan for this. I'm sure they were here on Saturday. I'm sure they were, or they'd have had people here, but they'd know the way Tommy Whittington's side changes. I don't think the formation has changed in the 37 games they've played this season. Here's Ebb Street getting in down the right-hand side, looking to square it, and Edsa tries to get on it, and it's ended up in goal, and it is that man, Toby Edsa, who's put the ball in the net and joins the celebrations of the Ebb Street fans over on the far side. And uh, it is Ebb Street... 1-0 up here at the EBB in just the fourth minute. Chaz. Well, that's Hedster's first goal of the season, and you can tell what it means to him. He's going over there celebrating with the Ebbsleet fans. It's an early start, a good start for Ebbsleet, and the move down the right-hand side, it went unchecked. There was a little bit of, uh, um, well, slow defending over there, and when the ball was played in, I, I, I don't think your goalkeeper could do a great deal about it. Edsa found the pocket and uh, slipped the ball into the back of the net with absolute glee. Glover picks the ball up and moves into a pocket of space, sends it down the middle but gives it straight to Edsa. And uh, Ebsleet might get in on the right side here. Ball out to the left side, shot comes in, it is saved behind by Jordi Van Stappertuff. And uh, the shot coming in on that occasion. Corner's going to be taken right footed, a header down and saved by Van Stappertuff, snaffled at the second attempt. Uh, meanwhile, Aldershot have won it back anyway. Harfield's got it, plays it to Kaji, who turns and turns into trouble. And Ebsfleet have won it again. And they're on the charge on the right-hand side. Shot's coming in. Champ and it bounces over the Chapman. top of the bar from Ben Chapman, I think. Ben Chapman hit the crossbar, yeah. and now he's complaining he wants a, a corner. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure your goalkeeper, as much as he would have loved to have saved it, I'm not sure he got a touch on that. No, I'm not sure that he did. I think it looped onto the crossbar, but... Once again, it was all shot down, the authors of their own downfall, and it's Toby Edsa who picked the pocket, and Chapman so very nearly with the beneficiary. 1-0 to Ebsfleet here, 32nd minute, corner for shots, taken short. Groans around the EBB as it's taken short, but uh, I think we know the reasons why. Is Stokes in possession, tries a little ball around the corner to find... Oh, lovely touch from Frost. Drills it across the edge of the area, missed by a couple of people. Tala! Smashes it home, right-footed, in the 32nd minute. Aldershot Town won, Ebbsfleet United won. You pull the defence out of shape, you wait for the opportune moment, the best moment to cross the ball. You don't just lump it into the penalty area where Ebbsfleet have probably got uh, a, a bit of an advantage in the height department, but Aldershot Town played it slowly, patiently, crossed it, and there was Tolage just waiting exactly the right place to roll the ball past Cousins in at the far post. There's a ball down the left flank for Tolage to chase and he's won the battle again against Sakura and he turns inside, he's into the penalty area, stands up, tries to get shot away, it is on target, it's gathered comfortably enough by Cousins but Tolage showing, he doesn't want to just score a goal for tonight, he wants to score one to make up for Saturday. And, uh, Corner number four. In it comes. Glover sends it on, Tolage! Goal number 24 from corner number four. And Aldershot Town score from a short corner again. And a nice little habit of late is continued as Aldershot score just before half-time. Tolage again with his right foot. 24th goal of the season, 45 plus one. 
Shots two, Ebsleet one, Steve Gibbs. Shots yet again, scoring late in the first half. And I think it's telling, but no, it rolled into the penalty area. Just, um, Josh Stokes knew what he was doing, Tonadge knew what he was doing, and he was relatively unmarked considering he was inside the six yard box to just drive the ball past Cousins. It is, I think it's really healthy for a Tuesday night though. A good, mm. a good contingent from, uh, from Kent have come around the M25, and the East Bank is also looking pretty full as well, and as is the North Stand. So I think it'll be a, a Really slip, pleasing Tuesday slip night from Haji Minoga. Sorry, Steve. Polian picks it up. We know he's dangerous in this situation. That looks like a heavy touch. And he's squared the keeper and he's squared it across. Brilliant from Van Stapperschurp. Coming back after failing to grab it the first time. Sliding in like a centre-back and poking it behind the goal for a corner to Ebsfleet. And might it be their first or the... No, second now, isn't it? His pace was incredible. I thought he had a heavy touch, Polian, but he still got onto it. They have the corner now. We're in the 49th minute. Shots one, Ebsfleet two, and Van Stapperschurf snaffles the ball, uh, plays it up to Stokes, holds it up, back to goal. I'm not sure I've ever seen a, a 19, 20-year-old that held it up so well. It's a good ball out to the right-hand side. Frost is in on the right-hand edge of the pair. Squares it. In off the post. James Daly. So unselfish from Tyler Frost. Unbelievable that he didn't shoot from there, but he passed it and Daly scores at the East Bank end for a second time in four days. Aldershot Town 3, Ebsfleet United 1, Steve Gibbs. Yeah, that's Tyler Frost all over. Unselfish, playing for the team. Saw someone in a better position rather than take the personal glory that he surely could have done. He squared it. And now we said before half time or at half time, Aldershot Town look like the more likely to score the next goal. And they've absolutely proved it. And it's James Daly who's got that goal. But what a superb counter attack. Every player involved more than played their part. Van Stappershoff with the impetus, the speed of throw out. Josh Stokes, even though he was being fouled, he had the defender had a fistful of Stokes shirt. But Stokes was still able to get the pass away. Tolaj had the vision to look up and see Tyler Frost in acres of space down the right-hand side. And then Frost's unselfishness, his team play, put it on a plate for Daly, 3-1 shots. And yeah, he was having to really battle the Ebsfleet defender to, to maintain oh, his lovely turn possession. From Tolledge, plays it down the right-hand side to Frost. Frost squares it. O'Keefe, shot blocked, comes back out to Tolledge. Can't get his foot shot away. And he eventually has lost the ball. Aldershot and Ebsfleet have been involved in high-scoring thrillers before. They've gone to penalties before. We all know how that one ended. Chaz left here with a smile on his face that night. Will he leave with a smile on his face tonight? What's the referee stop play for here, Steve? Well, she's uh, seen something that we're not privy to. The referee's assistant didn't raise a flag. And she's going to her back pocket. And I think Haji Monoga might be in trouble there. Is it Monoga or O'Keefe? It's another yellow. No. We, I think... And Minoga's got the yellow card. But I don't think Minoga had a yellow before, so... If Steve, what do you make of it? Minoga looks like he's off to me. Yeah, I don't know whether it was a straight red or a second yellow. Well, I saw her reach to her back pocket, and I, mm. I think it's a straight red, but I don't know... I've, I've not seen a yellow seen card given uh, it previously. No, it's no. the fir uh, first straight red of the season for Abigail Byrne, and Aldershot have a different kind of problem to solve here. And I don't think anybody in the EBB stadium has got a clue what that is for, do we? No. It was it was the way as play built up, Ebsfleet moved forward, but then the referee brought play back, and I think uh, Hadji is now Malaga is now speaking to the fourth official. One end to the other as well. It's a real test for Abigail Byrne in the middle, and she's shown her first straight red of the season, I believe. I, I don't think it was a second yellow for Monogra. I don't think he'd been shown yellow before that, but uh, his Stokes winning the ball, but turning it straight to Josh Wright. Ball out to the left side, taken under control by Edsa. Played out to Belonga. Belonga looking for Edsa, but can only find Frost. Frost finds O'Keefe. O'Keefe finds Daly. Daly's got the ball out of his feet and he's going to play it into a position now for Glover to chase on the left-hand side. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one against White. Cuts in, tries the shot. Oh, what a goal from Ryan Glover. 
puts the icing on the cake of a fantastic season where the only thing missing, Steve, has been goals. He cuts in on his right foot. No curl on this one, just drive low. And 10-man Aldershot score a fourth goal. Aldershot down four, Ebbsfleet one. And I think the lack of a curl is what beat Cousins as Ryan Glover cut inside from the left-hand side, that left channel. I was thinking, and I think a lot of people around me were thinking, he's going to try and curl it, send it bending towards that far corner around Cousins. But no, he whipped it low to the near post, beat the goalkeeper's dive, and now Aldershot Town have the breathing space that their numerical disadvantage may have needed as Ebbsfleet, they were already planning a triple change and now Danny Searle desperately needs that. As it stands, long As way to stands, go. As it stands, yes, but... But here comes Rakesh Bingham, one and one with Harry's, tries a shot, drags the shot just wide, claims the corner and uh, referee Abigail Byrne, I, I believe correctly says no, goal kick. OK, Amari Sterling James is there, so is Toby Edsa. Looks like Edsa's left foot. Yeah, Edsa's left foot. He's already scored the opening goal tonight. Can he get himself a brace and double his tally for the season? That was, of course, his first goal. Five men in the Aldershot Town wall. Polion stood at the end of it. And that might be the spot that Omari Sterling James aims for. Van Stappershoef takes it in his midriff and uh, it's followed up, but he doesn't spill it. Well, he's done it again. Back-to-back -back player of the month and back-to-back -back player of the matches. Will Steve Gibbs concur? Oh, there's a lovely touch from Sterling James. He's down the right. He's going to send his cross in. Van Stappershoef goes down and gets it just in front of three on Russian Ed Fleet players. Polian, Bingham and Samuels all in there, but none of them getting on the end of it. Shots four, Ebbsfleet one, shots down to ten. Coming from behind, there's a poor one. Van Stappershoef can't make his mind up. Oh. And then a heavy touch from Polian. Van Stappershoef almost gets it, Polian's down to the byline. Now he might look to square it, he does. Goes past everybody to Belonga. Belonga shoots and Kadji throws himself in front of it and turns it behind for the corner. Yeah, and he's played in central midfield and then he was the man to drop back into the back five to take... Haji Minogas place as well, and again, in two positions. Two positions that he is perfectly adept at at Bristol City, but in a new team, an unfamiliar team, playing in a slightly unfamiliar position, he has been superb. So He's there is the, the final proper. whistle. A comprehensive win in the end. A comprehensive win in the end. It was indeed Steve Gibbs. The shot's going behind in the fourth minute, but turning things around... And Tolage with his 23rd and 24th of the season. And in the second half, James Daly unselfishly played in by Tyler Frost. And Ryan Glover putting the game to bed. And Hadji Minoga sent off midway through the second half, but it didn't stem the shot's momentum. Final scoreline here at the EBB. Aldershot Town 4, Ebbsfleet United 1.